So we're all set up here for our battery test, our controlled indoor test. We're all hooked up. We have our meter there. This is our input voltage. Our input voltage is 26.13 volts, so we're definitely within range. It's supposed to be 10.5 to 28 volts. And we're set up here with our AC. Right now it's not turned on, so we're not getting anything at all. And there is our unit. We turn it on. And that's all we get. It keeps flickering back to fault. It should go to green and it should flicker on green while it's adjusting the power factor. And then shortly start outputting power depending on how much input it has. Right now at 26 volts it should be close to full output. And we're getting here is zero. Now you can leave it like this for a half an hour or whatever. What's going to happen is eventually the fan will kick on to start cooling it. So like I say, it's trying to do something but is not working. And if we unplug this from the power meter, it shuts off like normal. The islanding protection We'll plug it in direct just to show that it's not the meter that's causing the problem. So the meter isn't causing the problem. And that's all it does. It flickers back and forth between normal and fault and the manual doesn't say anything about that kind of action. Nothing in the troubleshooting to address it flickering back and forth. So as far as I'm concerned this thing is scrap. Doesn't work. The cost to me to have it repaired is probably going to be cheaper for me to trash it and buy a new one which I shouldn't have to do. Because it was like this right out of the box, brand new. One thing I would like to mention though, is when I was examining it after taking it out of the box, let me just disconnect it here because I want to flip it over. What I did notice is that this seal was broken. This one here. Now, I can't see any way of that happening except for somebody opening it to service it after the fact. So, it's probably a return or refurbished or something like that. But obviously, the seal was broken for a reason. It didn't get broken automatically. They put those on last so that the warranty is not voided. So they can tell if somebody's opened it. Well, this is the way it came. It came with that sticker slit like that and like I say there's nothing rattling around in there no loose parts nothing fell off the board or anything like that and uh, that's it I'm just gonna pack it up and if they want it back well great if not trash it